Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this 0 to 3 months baby cowboy booty. I do have an older video of this but I made a new one because um, I have a few mistakes I made in the previous video. So this is the updated video for 0 to 3 months cowboy booty. Okay, let's get started. And for the yarn, I'll be using Red Hat Super Saver. Um, this is 100% acrylic, medium size 4 and Red Hot with Love 100% acrylic, this is also size medium size 4 and for the ring and the stars, I'm going to use slightly thinner yarn and for the crochet hook, I'm using 3mm and for the ring and star, I'm using 2.5 millimeter. Okay, let's start. Okay, let's start by making the sole. So, make a slip knot. And now chain 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, now I'm going to make three double crochet into the third stitch from the crochet hook. Three double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, and three. Okay, next I'll make seven double crochet. So one double crochet into the next seven stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now make six double crochet into the next chain. The, um, this is chain one. So six double crochet into the next chain. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, now I've made six double crochet. Now make now make one double crochet into the next seven chain so seven double crochet one seven now make three double crochet into the next chain this is the same chain or the same loop where I made the three double crochet earlier. So three double crochet into the chain. One, two, three. Okay. Now slip stitch into on top of the first double crochet. Okay. Um, for round one you should have 26 stitches okay let's start with round number two okay for round two start with chain one and now i'll make two single crochet into each stitch um, two single crochet into the next three stitch so two single crochet into stitch one two and three so Two single crochet into the first stitch, two single crochet second stitch, and two single crochet into the third stitch. Okay, now I'll make four single crochet. One, two, three, four. 
okay now I'll make two dub two half double crochet one and next stitch two okay next what I'm going to do I'll make two half double crochet into the next eight stitch so um, two half double crochet in each stitch for the next eight stitch one this is the first so two half double crochet it's three Okay, just let me double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now make two half double crochet, one half double crochet into the next two stitch. One, two, three, four. Okay, now make one single crochet into the next four stitch. One, two, three and four next make two single crochet into each stitch for the next three stitch so two single crochet here two single crochet into the next stitch and two single crochet into the last stitch okay so this is the sole going to slip stitch and okay you should have total of 40 stitches for zero and the measurement for this sole is 3.5 inches okay. okay so let's start with round three round three is going to be a back post half double crochet around so start with chain one and yarn over um, hook into the first stitch and over to the second stitch pull the yarn and pull all three loop okay, let me show you again yarn over into the stitch over to the next stitch yarn over pull the yarn and there you have it So I'm going to finish up round three. So round three, you should have 40, four zero stitches as well. I'm going to finish up and I'll see you once I'm done. I'm back and I'm done with round three. For round three, you should have 40 stitches as well. So slip stitch and cut the yarn. Let's change to yarn. Um, let's change to blue yarn. Okay, get your blue yarn and make a slip knot so I'm going to start where I end the brown um, yarn so I'm going to pull the yarn through here and chain one now after chain one I'll make 40 four zero half double crochet around around so one half double crochet into every stitch and remember the chain one does not count as the 40 half double crochet okay so just um, start the first half double crochet next stitch so the count start next stitch after the chain one so one two okay I'm gonna finish up I'll see you once I'm done and I'll show you the counting okay I'm done with round four so let's do the stitch count so this is the chain one so I, I will not count this as the stitch count so I'll start the next stitch so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 
21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. This is where I ended. So for round 2, 3 and 4, you should have 40, 4, 0 stitches. Okay, now slip stitch on now let's start with round five so before i start every round i always check whether my beginning is at the center so as you can see now this is center so let's start with round five okay for round five start with chain one and now I'm going to make one half double crochet into the next 11 stitch. So I'm going to start the stitch next to chain one. Okay, 11 half double crochet. One, two, three. Eleven. Let me double check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, now I'm going to make 9 double crochet decrease. So the first double crochet, yarn over, hook into the next stitch, pull through the yarn, there's 3 loops, yarn over, pull through 2 loops, yarn over into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, now there's 4, yarn over pull through two loops now there's three now yarn over pull through all three loops so this is the first double crochet decrease now i'm going to make eight more half double crochet decrease because you should make total of nine double crochet decrease so one two and nine okay so done with the nine double crochet decrease so now i'm going to make one half double crochet into the next 11 stitch so all the way here so one two Eleven. Okay, done. With round five, now slip stitch. Okay, now um, for round five, you should have total of thirty-one stitches. Okay, let's start with round six. Chain one, and now make nine single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay. Okay, now make three double crochet decrease. So this is the first decrease. second decrease and third decrease okay so there's one two and three next stitch make one double crochet okay now make three more double crochet decrease okay so this is one decrease Is second decrease and this is the third decrease okay so there's 
one two three okay now make nine single crochet okay I'm done with round six chain one sorry um, slip stitch now let's start with round seven okay before I start round seven I just want to make sure whether my beginning stitch is at the center okay as you can see now this is not the exact center where I want it to be so I'm going to slip one stitch the reason why I want it to be at the center because I want to have an even decrease in front right here so you have a perfect round for the boot okay so I'm gonna do one slip one stitch I'm going to slip one stitch okay and now let's start with round seven so for round seven chain one and make 10 single crochet starting from the stitch next to chain one so 10 single crochet 3 4 5 6 7 7 8 9 and 10 Okay, now I'm going to make one single crochet decrease. Okay, next make one single crochet. Okay, next make one single crochet decrease. Okay, now um, next make 10 single crochet and 10 now slip stitch cut the yarn and we're going to change to the brown yarn Okay, I um, forgot to mention for round 6, you should have a total of 25 stitches. And for round 7, you should have a total of 23 stitches. Okay, let's start with the next round, which is round 8. Okay. Okay, for round 8, I'm going to use brown yarn and I'll start right here. So now make chain 2, 1, 2. So this chain 2 does not count as the stitch count. So for round 8, make 23 double crochet. I'm done I'm slip stitch <clears throat> so this is how it looks like now let's start with round 9 okay round 9 chain 2 1 2 make 3 double crochet 1 2 3 And two double crochet next stitch. One, two, now make fifteen double crochet, fifteen, one, two. Fifteen, 
to be double crochet next stitch one two now three double crochet one two three you should have total of 25 stitches for round nine and slip stitch let's start with round 10 for round 10 and 11 start with chain two and one double crochet into every stitch okay so for round 10 and 11 start with chain two and one single crochet into every stitch total for round 10 and 11 you should have 25 stitches as well i'm gonna finish up and i'll see you once i'm done round 12 chain one make four half double crochet one two three four two double crochet into next stitch one two and three double crochet into next stitch one two three two double crochet next stitch one two now make 11 half double crochet one two three. 11 make two double crochet next stitch one two three double crochet next stitch one two three two double crochet next stitch one two now make four half double crochet all the way through one two three four slip stitch cut the yarn Let's change to blue yarn round 12 we should have total of 33 stitches round 13 chain one make six single crochet chain one does not count as the stitch count so first single crochet start here one two three four five six now make two single crochet into next stitch one two one single crochet next stitch two single crochet next stitch now make 15 single crochet one two three Fourteen, fifteen. Now make two single crochet. Next stitch. One single crochet. Two single crochet. Next stitch. Now make six single crochet all the way back. One, two, three, four, five six now slip stitch 
Ito yan. So this is how it looks like. Okay, next I'm going to show you how to make the star and ring. Okay, now let's make the star. I'm using 2.5 millimeter crochet hook and slightly thinner yarn. So I'm going to make a loose slip knot and chain one. Okay, now I'm going to make 10 single crochet into the slip knot. Okay, if you're not used to this method, you can go ahead and use magic ring, but I find this method um, work as well as magic ring. So make 10 single crochet. Okay, now I made 10 single crochet. I'm going to slip stitch into the chain one. So to close up the hole, just pull this string behind. And okay, let's start um, with the triangle. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Make one single crochet into the third chain from the hook. So one single crochet into the third chain and next stitch one half double crochet and the next stitch one double crochet okay we made first triangle okay skip one stitch and slip stitch into the next stitch okay repeat the same pattern chain five one single crochet into the third chain one half double crochet next chain one double crochet into the next chain now skip one stitch and slip stitch into the next stitch okay repeat until you get five triangles Okay, I'm done with the fifth triangle. I'm going to slip stitch right here. Chain one, cut the yarn. So here's the star. And we're gonna attach it to the boot right here. Okay, let me show you how to make the ring. Okay, make a slip knot and make several chain. Okay, I'm just gonna measure whether it's Okay, I'm here. I'm going to make few more chains. Okay, I get the length that I want. So now I'll make half double crochet at the third chain from the crochet hook, but I only um do at the back bump of the chain okay go ahead and crochet half double crochet into every chain and i'll see you once i'm done okay i'm done with this so now i'm going to weave in ends and i'll see you once i'm done I'm going to attach the ring and star using glue gun. You can go ahead and use the same yarn, the beige yarn, to sew in onto the boots. But I prefer using glue gun because it's much more faster and easier.
Okay, there you have it. I'm just going to stuff it with the polyester film. Okay, I'm going to finish up the other pair. So make sure the stars will be at the opposite side. Will be right here for the next boot. Okay, I'm going to finish up the other boot and I'll see you once I'm done. I'm back and I'm done with the left booty. So um, I'm just going to do a quick measure. So this is three and a half inches. And there you have it. I hope this um, updated video tutorial is much more easy for you to follow. Um, do follow me on social media, Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to this channel for more video in the future. And for now, thank you for watching and take care everyone. Bye.